All right, guys, so this week we're still going to be working on investigations, but, and last week we did a bunch of great experiments, but this week we're going to do something else. We're going to do some more experiments, but we have decided that we are going to get all of the people, authority figures of Rock Prairie involved. So when you do come back on site, you guys will have an idea of who's who. So with our watermelon science, we're just going to be doing a bunch of different experiments on that. So we're going to still use our scientific method, okay, where we are going through the steps of a hypothesis and observing and drawing a conclusion. We're going to go through all of those steps. And the questions that we are going to be asking today are, how much does a watermelon weigh? And if a watermelon will sink or float. So that's what we're going to be really discussing. And we decided that we are going to ask everyone. We're going to ask Mr. Duran, the principal. We're going to ask Nurse Jen. We're going to ask the assistant principal, Renee Sanders. We have lots of fun people in store for you. So let's see what they think. So the two questions we're going to be asking are, Will the watermelon sink or float? And how much does the watermelon weigh? We're going to be weighing the watermelon in pounds. Okay, let's see what they have to say. Hi, I'm Miss Barrett and I am the attendance clerk and registrar at Rock Prairie. So Miss Barrett, what, is, what do you think the weight of this um, watermelon is? Wow, um, so I'm not supposed to hold it. And you can use, we're going to want it in pounds. How many should you think? Uh, maybe one pound. Okay. So what is the, what is, what's your hypothesis on if that watermelon will sink or float? I think it'll sink. Go for it. Hi guys, my name is Sadie Fritch and I'm the secretary here at Rock Prairie. All right, Mrs. Fritch, what is your hypothesis on the weight of this watermelon in pounds? Can I hold it? Sure. Eight pounds. What is your hypothesis on whether the watermelon will sink or float? I think it's going to sink. Hi, I'm Susan Cerovic. I am your school counselor. So what is your hypothesis on the weight of this watermelon in pounds? Mm. I think it is 17 pounds. What is your hypothesis on whether this watermelon will sink or float? I think it's going to sink first and then come back to the top and float. Hi, it's Mr. Duran, your principal. I'm ready to do your science experiment with you. All right, what is your hypothesis on the weight of the watermelon in pounds? Hmm. I'm going to say 10 pounds. What is your hypothesis on whether the watermelon will sink or float? I think it's going to sink. Hi, guys. This is Ms. Sanders. I'm the assistant principal. Hopefully you've seen me around. I'm here to help with your science experiment. Okay, well, what do you think, what is your hypothesis on the weight of the watermelon in pounds? Hmm. Let's say 11. What is your hypothesis on whether the watermelon will sink or float? I don't even need to touch it. It's gonna sink. Hi there, I'm Nurse Jen here at Rock Prairie and you have some questions for me. What is your hypothesis on the weight of the watermelon? Eight and a half pounds. What is your hypothesis on whether the watermelon will sink or float? Oh, I think it's going to sink. Hi, everybody. I'm Miss Rhodes. I'm the librarian. All right. What is your hypothesis on the weight of this watermelon using pounds? Whoa, it's kind of heavy. I'm going to say five pounds. What is your hypothesis on whether the watermelon will sink or float? Oh, it's going to sink because it's super heavy. Hi, I'm Mrs. Stasny and I'm the math specialist. All right, Mrs. Stasny, what is your hypothesis on the weight of the watermelon using pounds? Hmm. I hypothesize that it is eight pounds. What is your hypothesis on whether the watermelon will sink or float? I think that the watermelon is going to float. Okay, it's time to weigh our watermelon to see how much, how many pounds it weighs. So I'm gonna put it down here on the scale. 
and check the numbers. 5.8, almost six pounds. Okay guys, I have my watermelon. I have my sink full of water. So we're going to see if the watermelon sinks or if it floats. Here we go. And it has sunk all the way to the bottom. So the answer is the watermelon has, it sinks when you put it in water.